People in our day and age have a lot on their minds. We make hundreds of choices every day, ranging from what socks to wear to what to eat for supper. It's easy to understand how our minds might get overloaded when we add to that list all the things we unintentionally dwell on, such as that casual remark made by a colleague, or that persistent concern about having enough money to pay all our bills every month. Being as conscious as possible of all of these ideas is the simplest kind of mindfulness. It enables us to become aware of where our attention goes. Although we often have little control over the world around us, we can learn to have control over what occurs inside us through mindfulness. To learn more about the practice of mindfulness, make sure to watch this video all the way through. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe for the latest from Red Button Journal. And now for the journal. What is the practice of mindfulness? Mindfulness is an awareness that grows when we calmly pay attention to our thoughts, feelings, and body sensations on purpose in the here and now without judging them. We might take out our phones while waiting in line at the grocery store, or instead, we could decide to stop and look around, take a deep breath, and ask ourselves, how am I feeling? Or something like, what can I see, smell, and hear right now? We call this process of slowing down and being aware of the present moment, mindfulness. Though they are sometimes combined, mindfulness and meditation are not exactly the same thing. By simply observing our thoughts and our environment, we may practice mindfulness anywhere, at any time. In contrast, meditation involves the process of consciously cultivating our capacity for mindfulness. We are engaging in meditation when we sit, breathe, or move in a manner that aims to build our present moment awareness. What are the benefits of mindfulness? The advantages of mindfulness meditation have been extensively studied by scientists since the 1980s. These studies have overwhelmingly concluded that mindfulness, and particularly meditation, can change brain structure and function over time, thickening and densifying the areas of the brain involved in cognition, learning, and memory. We can concentrate better and solve issues faster by practicing mindfulness. It may help us prepare to recover from difficult circumstances. It turns on brain regions that are involved in love-related emotions. It lessens unintentional prejudice. Better sleep is a result of it. It enhances our general physical and mental wellness and could possibly lengthen our lives. The fact that practicing mindfulness results in a sensation of serenity that lasts the whole day is one of the main reasons people do it. What is the history of mindfulness? Ancient Hindu scriptures from nearly 4,000 years ago are filled with references to meditation, silence, and acceptance. As merchants traveled along the Silk Road in Asia, they spread the practice to different cultures, which changed it over time. Buddhists, in particular, adopted it as the core of their religious practice. The Zen Buddhists, Mahayana Buddhists, Theravada Buddhists, and Taoists each practiced in different ways, but the goal of developing awareness was always a common denominator. The Dalai Lama put it this way, whatever forms of meditation you practice, the most important point is to apply mindfulness continuously and make a sustained effort. It is unrealistic to expect results from meditation within a short period of time. What is required is continuous, sustained effort. Mindfulness became of interest in the West as early as the 1700s among intellectuals, but it wasn't until the 1950s that transcendental meditation 
was first actively promoted in America. Practicing mindfulness only became prevalent in Western culture about 40 years ago. Today, it is widely practiced throughout the world. The key to developing mindfulness in your own life is finding the technique that is right for you and practicing it regularly. What are the most common mindfulness techniques? There are four common mindfulness techniques found in Western culture today. Transcendental meditation, loving-kindness meditation, yoga, and mindfulness-based stress reduction. Transcendental meditation is a traditional technique that involves concentrating your attention on a mantra, a sound with no meaning, like OM, and repeating it for 10 to 20 minutes at a time. It changes how you think about things, it can open up your brain to a higher state of consciousness, and it can change your life. Loving-kindness meditation promotes goodwill by repeating statements such as, May I be happy, may I be peaceful, may I be well, and others. Then you move on to, may you be, and eventually, may we be. By just thinking the words to yourself, you can practice loving-kindness meditation at any time. It can be inconspicuous and used anywhere. Yoga is often seen as a sort of active meditation that focuses the mind on the body. Yoga's purpose is to illuminate the body's deepest recesses with awareness. Yoga assists us in focusing on the sensations of the present moment when practiced in its most meditative form. Mindfulness has been embraced by the therapeutic community as well. The Mindfulness-Based Stress Reduction MBSR, treatment employs a variety of meditation techniques to assist patients in managing a wide range of problems, including cancer, diabetes, depression, anxiety, chronic pain, and immunological diseases. Whichever technique you choose, mindfulness is a great way to calm your mind in a world that appears to provide an endless supply of stress and distractions. Tell us in the comments which mindfulness technique you practice, or which technique you think might work best for you. We love reading and responding to your comments. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to like, share, comment and subscribe for the latest from Red Button Journal.